to transform your life in 15 minutes. I'm Pia, I'm the author. I'm also an accounting professor and a certified life coach. I help people reach their goals. And today we're going to be talking about aerobics. I want you to picture yourself, okay? Picture yourself working out. And what is it that you're doing? Is it that you're lifting heavy weights? Or maybe you're stretching? Or perhaps maybe you're actually doing some type of physical activity that has your that has you sweating and has your heart beating faster and it has your bump pumping as it gets those the oxygen to, through your veins to your muscles to keep you going. Which one is it? Well, if you said the latter, then you are performing aerobic exercise and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now specifically, we're going to be talking about what is aerobics. We're going to be talking about the benefits of aerobics. And then we're also going to be talking about um, the types of aerobics and then we're going to conclude with the recommendations like how often should you be doing aerobic exercise but before we do all that let me just explain to you what transfer your life in 15 minutes is this is basically um, a transformation where we're doing five minute exercises one each for the mind the body and the soul so this first portion of course is going to be designed to stimulate your mind so we're going to be doing some um, stimulating conversation particularly as it relates to aerobics today and then we're going to be doing a five minute yoga routine. And then to conclude, we're going to be doing a five minute exercise, um, a mind exercise for your meditation. So we're going to be, I'm going to guide you through a meditation that's going to help to um, focus, clear your mind, get those thoughts out of, out of the way in um, an efforts to help transfer your body. So I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this broadcast. Those of you that are watching it live and also the, those of you that are watching the recording. All right. So let's get on to aerobic exercise. So it's just so happy, like if you're wondering what this topic, if you have not been watching these broadcasts and this is your first time, first off, I want you to know that all these broadcasts are recorded and you can find them on my YouTube channel. Just search for me, Pia McAdams, and you'll find all the recordings all the way back. I started this way in uh, April and I started with the first book, which we read Psycho Cybernetics by Dr. Maxwell Maltz. And then starting in June of this month, we actually started reading my book, um, which is entitled Your Body, The Perfect House how to find your true purpose and live a balanced life. And this is a guide to help people address all the five areas in your lives, the financial, the physical, the emotional, the spiritual, and the relationship. And right now we're addressing the physical. So that's why we're talking about aerobics today. All right, so let's talk about what is aerobics. So basically aerobics is physical activities that actually helps you, um, that's gonna get you to sweat, it's going to make your um, heart beat faster and it's also going to make you breathe a little harder. OK, so that's what physical um, what aerobic exercise is. Now, aerobics is also known as cardio. So you'll hear people refer to it as cardio or cardio exercise. Well, cardio actually is short for cardiovascular. And what cardiovascular is, is actually your heart and then also the, um, the blood vessels. OK, so. In, the, in that sense, when you're doing aerobic exercises, you're actually strengthening your heart and your lungs as it um, helps to transport, it helps your cardiovascular system transport oxygen efficiently through your body, okay, to help it make, um, last function better, All right? So that's what you're doing with the uh, cardio exercise, with aerobic exercise and cardio. Uh, I want you to understand too that um, it involves using the large muscle groups. And it's usually um, a minimum of 10 minutes, so about 10 minutes or longer, you know, minimum 10 minutes, but you can actually go longer with cardio, with aerobic exercise. And understand that um, aerobics is actually a way for you, is it involves oxygen. So yes, tomorrow we're going to be talking about anaerobic, but today we're talking about aerobic. So aerobic is with oxygen, and it's the way that the body helps to sufficient, sufficiently supply oxygen um, as a source of energy while you're performing the exercise. All right, so let's talk about some benefits. Well, what are some benefits of doing aerobic exercises? Well, it's going to improve your circulation. So in other words, it's gonna help your body use oxygen better. It's going to increase your, um, your endurance. So in other words, this is gonna help you last longer. So I know like when you first start off, like with aerobic exercise, it's like, oh my gosh, you're saying go 10 minutes, I can only go like 10 seconds. But over time, it will definitely improve your endurance and it's gonna help you go longer. All right. It's going to also increase your energy. So you're going to have energy as you're doing the cardio. That's why I'm always like excited a lot of times 
um, particularly because I, if I've done some exercise, like you think I'm excited now, you should really see me after I've done some type of um, aerobic exercise. So it's going to increase your energy. It's also going to help you to reduce heart disease because remember, so it's actually training your cardiovascular system. So it's going to help you reduce heart disease. It's going to help you reduce diabetes. It's going to help you reduce some forms of cancer. Um, it's going to help you reduce your body fat. So for those of you trying to lose weight, this is one form of doing it's going to help you reduce your body fat. It's going to also help you maintain a healthy weight. Okay, so cardiovascular exercises does do that. And it reduces your stress, your anxiety, and your depression. Show me someone who's exercising that's depressed, and I'll show you someone that isn't. So in other words, you may be depressed before you exercise, but then once you get those endorphins flowing, you get all energized and stuff. So while you're working out, and then matter of fact, after you finish working out as well, you're not going to be depressed. Now later on, you know, you may need to continue exercising. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But anyway, it's going to actually help that. And then finally, it's going to improve your sleep. Okay, so um, aerobic exercises helps you to sleep better. All right, so when we talk about aerobic exercises, what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about things such as walking and, and jogging and dancing and swimming and um, step aerobics, cycling, you know, those types of um, exercises, again, that makes you sweat. You know, any physical activity that makes you sweat is going to actually get your, um, your heart going faster than rest at rest. And then it's also going to get you breathing, you know, breathing harder. All right. So those are different types of exercise that you could do. Now, one thing that I want to make sure that you know is that this is actually the intensity of the exercise that's going to determine whether or not it's cardio. So, for example, let's say that you're walking, okay, and you're just doing a, a brisk walk and your heart rate's going up. Remember, it's faster than what's at rest then that's considered aerobic. But then let's say all of a sudden you take a steep incline and you walk up this drastic hill and all of a sudden your heart rate like spikes and you can't even last a long time. Well, now that exercise becomes anaerobic, okay? So I want you to understand when it comes to aerobic exercise, it's the intensity that determines whether or not it's aerobic or anaerobic, okay? So aerobic means with oxygen, you're able to breathe. I didn't say comfortably, right? But you're able to breathe in this with oxygen. All right, so again, what is the recommendation? So it's recommended that you actually perform 30 minutes of aerobic exercises at least three times a week. Okay, so 30 minutes. And it doesn't have to be a complete 30 minutes. You can actually do three 10 minute exercises. So those of you that always complain, I don't have enough time, you know, for, uh, for doing aerobic uh, exercising. It only takes 10 minutes of aerobic exercise to get that heart rate going and get, um, get going. Now, what are your favorite types of aerobic exercise? I'd like to hear from you. Now, for me, actually, my favorite is I love running. I've been running since I was like three years old, like seriously. Uh, running is my favorite, and then I love step aerobics. I have three jams, really. So running, step aerobics, and kickboxing, particularly turbo kickboxing. Those are my three jams. Now, with step aerobics, oh my gosh, like if you wonder, my email address is step and run. Well, step aerobics and a runner. That's what it comes from. So those are like my, those are my three jams. Obviously I had to step and, uh, step and run prior to um, being introduced or being, uh, yeah, introduced to kickboxing. But step aerobics is, is like pretty much, oh, I love that. Like I remember, I know for some of you, it's like, oh my God, it's so 80s and 90s. But I just, I remember that vividly, you know, teaching step aerobics. I love it. I love the choreography. I love just the way your heart rate goes and you're, you know, you're working on that bench, using that bench to help you, you know, lose weight and get your body transformed. You don't even realize you, you know, that you're actually losing weight. You're just having fun in a class. And my favorite, my all time favorite instructor, her name is Kim Miller. And Kim actually now lives in Temecula, but at the time she was down here in Southern California. And oh my God, she had one of those classes, like the choreography was just out of this world. But in addition to her like creativity and her choreography, the ability for this woman to break down choreography was phenomenal. I mean, it's one of those classes that if you walked in, like if you didn't get in from the very beginning and you just walked in in the middle, unless you've been coming to her classes like for a long period of time, you'd be like, what the hell? Like you wouldn't even know what to do. And that's not a bad thing is because again, it's her ability to break it down. So at the beginning of the class, she breaks it down like literally like, you know, Barney style. And then by the end of the class, we put it all together. And so if you walk in at the end, you're seeing the finished product. So obviously you're going to be like, you know, what the hell? But that's my favorite type of, um, one of my three favorite types of exercises. And of course running. And as I mentioned, turbo kickboxing is my, my latest jam. And that's been a while. I've been doing turbo kickboxing for years now. My favorite round in that one is round six because that was the round that I got certified. And by the way, I don't even know what round they're up to now because I stopped teaching turbo kickboxing um, 
a few months ago, but they're like well in there, probably like 60s, might even be 70s now, but I actually started when it was round six and I, it just, it's one of my favorite jams. So I'd like to hear from you. Tell me, what is your favorite form of aerobic exercise? And remember, tomorrow we're going to be talking about anaerobic exercises and then I'll kind of aerobic exercise with the anaerobic exercise. All right, well, I hope this talk was, a, was helpful for you. So we basically talked about what is, ex, what is aerobic exercise. We also talked about the benefits of aerobic exercises. We list some examples of aerobic exercises, and then we concluded with the recommendation of how often you should be doing those aerobic exercises. Now, by the way, we're about to do some yoga, and I know you're probably thinking, well, what, what type of exercise is yoga? Well, it really depends because remember, I told you that the intensity of the exercise is going to determine whether or not it's aerobic or not, okay? So for instance, what we're going to be doing this morning, the routine that we're doing this morning is not so much aerobic, but depending on, like for instance, you can actually make yoga aerobic by, you know, going a little faster, using your breath, and you, there's are, there are forms of aerobic um, yoga, like a stronger yoga, where it's actually designed to get your heart rate up. Oh, my cell phone's about to drop, okay? But this more so now, we're dealing with the mind-body connection in this first thing in the morning. So uh, this is more of a gentle type of yoga just to, you know, get your, get your body moving. But if you actually, um, this is just a five-minute introduction, right, or five-minute routine. But if you actually did an extended period of yoga, then you can actually make yoga aerobic as well. All right, so immediately following the yoga, uh, which, by the way, is a practice, uh, we're going to be doing meditation, which also, by the way, is a practice. And I say that because I don't want you just to watch me. I want you to join me. The way, remember, it's transform your life in 15 minutes. So it's the 15 minutes of the mind-stimulating conversation. Now we're going to do the five minutes, uh, five minutes of mind-stimulating conversation. Now we're going to do the five minutes of the body. And then we're going to finish with five minutes of the mind. So join me in the yoga. Now to get started, we're going to be in the tabletop position. And this is where your palms are directly underneath your shoulders and your knees are directly underneath your hips. And we're going to do some cat cows to warm up. All right, so let me go ahead and put my music on and we will get started. All right, so join me. All right, so fingers are spread out nice and wide. Your palms are directly underneath your shoulders and your knees are directly underneath your hips. Now, while you're in this moment, this position here is called tabletop. Just kind of move your body, feeling comfortable, side to side, moving your head. Remember, especially first thing in the, in the morning when you're doing yoga, just think in terms of what feels good to you, okay? What feels good for your body for this day, for this moment in time. All right, so when you're ready, go ahead and inhale. And as you inhale, would you bring your chest forward, drop your belly down toward the mat. Arch your back and forehead goes up toward the sky. And as you exhale, I want you to drop your chin down toward your chest, round through the spine, and tuck your pelvic under. Again, inhale. And exhale. As you're going rounding through your spine, just make sure that you press those shoulder blades down away from your ears. In other words, take those armpits and direct them down toward the mat. Exhale. All right, inhale. This time as we exhale, we're going to return back to tabletop and come to neutral spine again. All right, so this time I want you to look over that right shoulder and just kind of take those hips over to the left. Again, it's in the morning, just doing something that feels comfortable, like a nice gentle stretch here. Opposite side. All right, returning back to the center. I want you to curl your toes under, and let's take it to downward facing dog. And we're going to start to pedal those legs. And in downward facing dog, I'm doing the narrow stance with my feet directly underneath my hips. But if you need to, go ahead and spread those feet out nice and wide to the edges of the mat. And you can do the same thing in a wide stance, downward facing dog. Just make sure that your fingers stay nice and spread wide. Press your chest towards your thighs and your knees. Keep your head in alignment with your bicep. 
Alright, as you inhale, let's bring that left knee up towards your chest, your chin, and drop the chin, chest down. And as you exhale, bring that right, that left leg all the way up. And maybe drop the, bend the knee and let the foot flex over. Open up the hip. Again, you're pressing your chest toward that right thigh and knee. Now, bring that left foot toward your fingertips. And let's take it up to a high lunge. Now in this high lunge position, you want your palms facing each other. Let's keep the fingers spread out nice and wide. Early in the morning, you want to get all the positive energy just bringing in from our fingertips all the way down to the toes. Sink down into that high lunge. Nice deep Ujjayi breaths. Then I want you to greet your palms together, bring in that heart center, and I want you to rotate so the elbow goes on the opposite side of that left knee. Now I want you to press those palms together so that you open up your chest and you take your belly off your thigh. The tendency is to kind of rest. I don't want you to rest in this position like this. I don't want you to collapse your body. I want you to press those palms together and uplift. Now, take the left arm all the way up. Bring the right fingertips down towards the mat and open up it just a little more. Press those hips down toward the mat and make sure that you're breathing. Now go ahead and bring both palms down. Take that left foot back and continue to pedal. Now let's come up on the top of your tippy toes and roll down through the balls of your feet all the way down to the heels as you try to press them down toward the mat. Let's do that again. Come up on the top of your tippy toes and then as you exhale, roll down through the balls of your feet all the way to the heels. Continue pedaling. On your next breath, bring that right knee in toward your chest. Bring the chin toward the knee. And then extend that right leg all the way up. And then bend the knee and open up the hip. Now bring that right foot toward the fingertips. And let's take it up to the high lunge. Again, palms to greet each other. And I want you to bend, sink down into the stretch. Hips go straight down, knee stays directly over the ankle. Now bring the palms together at the heart center. And then rotate so that left elbow comes on the opposite side of that right knee. And again, open up the chest, so don't collapse down. If you don't collapse down, lift up. And make sure that you're breathing. Nice, deep, Ujjayi breaths. Now, I'm doing this in high lunge, but you can also feel free to do this in low lunge. Your glaze follows your thumb, but if there's too much strain and stress in your neck, feel free to look forward or to look down. Now bring the palms down and take it back to down facing dog and continue to pedal. Now I want you to bring your body forward to plank and let's hold this plank for three deep breaths. Now I'm doing a full plank right now, but feel free to modify, which means you just press your knees down toward the mat. Uncurl your toes. And then return back to downward facing dog. And then let's go ahead and walk our feet in towards your palms. And you're going to keep your palms flat on the mat. So go ahead and keep your knees bent. Just kind of rest your chest on your thighs, your knees. And just kind of hold it here for a second. Try to straighten the legs if you can. If not, keep those knees bent. And then slowly roll it up. Taking it one vertebrae at a time. Making sure that your head is last to rise. Taking a nice deep breath. Inhaling. 
As you exhale, dive the body forward. Place the palms flat. And then step your feet out so that the, uh, your toes are pointing at an angle. And as you exhale, release your tailbone down toward the mat. Now bring the palms together at the heart center and bow your head. Now release the right palm down while the left arm comes up and over. And then switch. Return back to the center. All right, go ahead and place your palms behind you. And then transition your body weight down. Face forward and come to a comfortable seated cross-legged -leg position. Make sure that you're on your sits bones and off the fleshy part of your bottom. Take fingertips down toward the mat. Give me a nice deep breath. Inhaling, palms come up toward the sky. And as you exhale, release the fingertips back down toward the mat. Again, as you inhale, palms come together, fingertips go up toward the sky. And as you exhale, release the fingertips down toward the mat. One more time, deep breath, inhaling. This time we're gonna actually greet the palms together at the very top. And as you exhale, release down to heart center. And namaste. All right, so this brings us to the meditation. So go ahead and stay in a nice comfortable seated position. Drop your chin down toward your chest. And as you inhale, your head and chest looks up. And as you exhale, release your chin back down toward your chest. Again, as you inhale, your head and chest comes up. And as you exhale, release the chin down toward your chest. One more time, inhale, forehead goes up toward the sky. This time as you exhale, keeping your eyes closed, just bring your chin forward so that your head is a natural extension of your spine. And just continue to breathe. Nice, deep, huge eye breaths. Inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. Now as you settle into the natural rhythm of the breath, knowing throughout this practice that, there, that you're going to hear sounds. You're going to hear sounds inside of the room and maybe outside of the room. These are not distractions nor disruptions. They're simply what's happening in and around you as you sit and breathe. As your mind begins to wander, jumping from thought to thought, just gently guide your attention back to your breath. As you inhale deeply through your nose and exhale through your mouth. As you breathe in, I want you to feel your chest rise and as you breathe out, I want you to feel your chest fall. As you inhale, I want you to feel your stomach expand, go out. And as you exhale, I want you to feel your stomach collapse as it goes in.
So if you continue this practice of observing your breath, Notice as your mind wanders, release the thought and return your focus back to towards your breath. I want you to forget about the past, forget about the future. And just focus on the here and the now. I want you to let go any judgments or expectations that you have of your practice. Just sit here and breathe. Enjoy the sensation as the breath moves in and out of your body. Learn to be comfortable in the stillness. Just know what it feels like just to be still and breathe. Go ahead and take notice of the breath as you inhale deeply through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Again, take a nice deep breath, inhaling through your nose, and exhale through your mouth. One more time, take a nice deep breath, inhale through your nose, and exhale through your mouth. Now go ahead and open up your eyes as you return, relax, calm, refresh. You've done something good for yourself today. So I start to move around. Thank you for taking this time to meditate with me. And thank you for taking the time to watch this transform your life in 15 minutes. Today's word is to radiate. So I want you to radiate, shine your way as you go throughout today. Be the light that you were designed to be. I will see you again same time tomorrow. And again, have a blessed day.